happy people i'm back with another video and today i have another organization video um as i stated in my last dollar tree haul i did want to organize all of my dollar tree rhinestone nail stickers and so that's what this video is going to be i have a pretty extensive collection of different rhinestones that i got from my local dollar tree as you all can see there are tons 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 of these so I'm gonna go through and organize all of this stuff into this container here. So, I don't even know where to start. I think I wanna start with these hearts because these are what I was kind of most excited about getting sorted and starting to use. But I have different types of rhinestones. I have like circular ones. I have heart shaped ones here. Um, I have like the teardrop ones. Um, some that have like some pearls on it and I primarily got these because I want to use these specifically for when I practice different um, designs on my practice hand um, I don't necessarily want to use some of my nicer rhinestones and crystals for practice and so that's why I got a butt ton of these because y'all I am ready to start practicing my acrylic application more so if y'all want to see how I organize all of these beauties definitely stay tuned and let's address the elephant in the room okay yes my nails they cute ain't they i do have tutorials on both of these looks so i will leave those linked in the description in case you guys want to check them out so i'm going to go ahead and zoom us out here just so we have a little bit of a better view um like i said i'm going to start with the parts first and i'm going to move most everything over and then i have this is my case here okay gonna peel this sticker off one of the things I really like about this organizer I also got this from the Dollar Tree but one of the things I really like about this is that it has these different compartments that you can kind of take out and adjust so this part here comes out so I can make this like a really long section or I can make it a little bit shorter so I'm gonna go in I'm trying to think about how I want to have it organized so all of these parts here, since they're all like the same color, I mean the same shape, I actually don't mind putting all of these parts here like in this big space right here. So that's probably what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm just going to take these out of the packaging here um, and see how easy they peel off, right? Like. So this is what they look like here. Let's see how easy that is. Okay. So they do have a sticky back to them. Hmm. I wasn't really planning on using the sticky back though. But I guess if it's there and it's working. Yeah, you see how it kind of sticks already? I kind of like that. So maybe I won't actually take them off of the plastic. Maybe what I'll do instead for these, because I have some other ones that actually did not have a sticky back. So what I'll do instead is, I think I'm just gonna cut the sheets and then maybe just stack them up together that way. So let me get my scissors here. Or you guys, would it make more sense to just put it in here? Right, like take them all out of the packaging and just line them up in here. Would that make more sense to do? Maybe this would make more sense to do. That way I don't have to cut them up or anything like that. So let me try to do that. So actually I think this container might be better at least for these hearts. So I think I'm gonna go through and just take all of these out. That is the hearts here. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and go through and do the circular ones the same way. Cause I think that's gonna make the most sense for those as well. And I'll probably just stack them right on top of the hearts. Cause I feel like I can get quite a few in here. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so this opens this way.
So I like how that is looking so far. I have another one of these. have these. I think I'm going to go ahead and put these in here too. So I also have these two. So these will go good right here on top. So fun to play around with. They're so pretty. So yeah, got that. And then um, I have these huge butterflies. I'm not really sure why I got these. I told myself I was gonna do nail art with them, but y'all, that's just it's just too big for the nail. But uh, we'll see. Um, I might cut try to cut them in half and do half wing on one hand and half wing on another on some super super long nails. So maybe that's what I'll use it for. But um, yeah, so all I have, have left now are like these type of the stickers. So I'm gonna see how, what's the best way to do this? Oh, I wanted to send my sister some of these. So let me take these out. So I have already used these in a set before. So I'm gonna leave um, I'm gonna leave a, a picture here on the screen so y'all can see what these look like. But I have used these before and they're actually really beautiful and I got tons of compliments on them. I wanna store them in here, but I don't think it's gonna fit like this. So what I think I'm gonna do is just like maybe cut it in half or almost in half so that I can store it in here. I think that's gonna be best way to do that so maybe like like this I just cut around this little little space here like so yeah so I think that's how I'm gonna store these I'm gonna just store it in here like that okay
right, you guys. So I am liking how this is organized thus far. So this is what I have for my inexpensive jewelry that I want to use specifically for my practice hand. And who knows, sometimes I might try to implement some of these into a set too. Like say if I need like a rhinestone or something, I'll try to throw them in the set as well. But for the most part, I got these here for practice. And while I'm thinking about it, I actually have this here, which are some, these are some inexpensive crystals too like rhinestones and stuff that I don't necessarily like wearing on me because they just don't perform too well. And so I'm thinking about, I wonder what it makes sense to put these inside of here. I don't know how I feel about that. But I can essentially make this like my inexpensive, you know, box or whatever. So I don't know. Let's see. So yeah, I know I tried these out before on a set and I didn't like them. You see how they kind of have like a cute iridescent shift to them, the ones here? Yeah, when I wore them on an actual set, like after a few days, the crystals turned completely clear. And so you couldn't even see the shift anymore and it just didn't look that great. So these are not the best quality. So I am gonna go ahead and keep these in here. I haven't tested these out, so I really don't know if they're that great or not but honestly i bought them from that same store so it makes me think they're not so i think for now i'm gonna just keep those in here keep those in here these i'm gonna actually go ahead and keep over here i think i could probably make these work and then these here i think these should be fine too because i feel like i have other ones similar to this so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and keep those previously had them but I know that these right here aren't that great so yeah all right you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video um this is how I'm going to be storing my rhinestones that are not of the highest quality but that I plan to hopefully do a lot of practice with. But let me know what you all want to see me organize next. Um, I do have my foil organization video already up and live but I think I'm going to film a part two of that because my foil collection has grown a little bit bigger so I need to organize the new foils that I got in and then also I'm wanting to swatch my foils so that's going to be a video coming soon and then also I do have some more rhinestones that I got from Shein that are like in little tiny packets and I need to figure out how I want to organize those. So yeah, I do have tutorials for these two sets here. I will leave them down in the description box in case you guys want to check them out. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.